Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 541 for Thursday, May 9th, 2024. Um, I wanted to do that again. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> this week we have banter, news, updates, a Chicago Pen Show recap, a trip to Florida, Manuel 5th Anniversary Inks, Ink Swab Cards, a contest winner, a new contest, plus nothing we can talk about that is coming soon. Hey, Lisa. I'm just going to do the whole podcast by myself. Great. I'll AP TV by Great. myself. So the other day, I'm walking down the street. Okay. I get hit by a violin. <laughs> Craziest thing. And then I'm walking, I keep going down, then a French horn. Then I get hit by a clarinet. It's crazy. I think it was an orchestrated attack. <sighs> French horn would hurt. <laughs> it would hurt. It would hurt. You know, I watched our podcast from last week with you and Lindsay. Okay. And it's so funny to see you make her laugh, and then that cracks you up, and the two of you just feed off each other. So, today, Thursday, May... May 9th. May 9th. <laughs> we need a spell checker, I think, for our <laughs> script. May 9th is Lost Sock Memorial Day. Who, I who love comes, this. Who, who comes up with this? It's a great day. You're just sitting home one day and go, you know what we don't have a day for? Lost Socks. <laughs> Missing all of the Lost Socks. Lost Sock Memorial Day. I <gasps> hope they're happy earth, wherever they are. on earth. Uh, oh, come on. I bet... Everybody out there has a small pile of socks that you're waiting to find. Where do this? Where do they go? What happens I don't know, to them? Under the bed, maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, Sunday, May twelfth is Mother's Day. Of course, don't forget to tell your mom you love her. Uh, if, give her a call. Stop by. Send her flowers. You're gonna send her something nice. Text the kids beforehand, right? I do every. I told. I, I told. Lindsay. I told Lindsay on the podcast last week. I said, "Don't forget." Don't forget. Yep. So, and she's, she reminded me she's the one who writes the script. So. Okay. Uh, but we will be with my mom. Yep. For Mother's Day. And uh, uh, I'll give my mom a call. Yep. Monday, May thirteenth is National Apple Pie Day. That's a good day. Dig into a sweet treat. Uh, I have a couple shout outs. While Brian was at the Chicago Pen Show last weekend, um, I had a couple visitors here in the store. Dave and I were here, and then I was here uh, alone on Saturday. So uh, shout out to Bob and Lori. It was great to see you guys. Always great to see you guys. And then uh, also a shout out to uh, Vicente on, and Andres. It was really good to meet you guys. Um, and uh, we had a lot of fun. All of them who ended up at the Chicago Pen Show hunting me down. Yes. So... Um, yes, I yeah. told them, in fact, the, the two uh, gentlemen I told to uh, let you know that they were supposed to supervise you. <laughs> they didn't do very well. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, last week was Chicago Pen Show. Uh, I left on Thursday, and I was there. So the show, the show really, Thursday's kind of the first m main day. Uh, for the international travelers, sometimes Tuesdays and Wednesday they get in. But Thursday's the first big day. So I was there Thursday, Friday. I left Saturday. Um Thursday, but not in time to get home to help work the store. Yeah, not in not in time. Worked. Yeah, not in time. Well, I had you know actually the way Saturday worked out is I had a number of people that I was meeting up with on on uh, Saturday, and some of them were a little bit later than I right. anticipated. I thought maybe they were coming right away, but they didn't. But th th it was That's fine. fine. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, but Thursday, I actually sat down. Uh, my goal was to sell pens and I had uh, two, a large binder and two small binders full of uh, fairly scarce Parker uh, Parker pens, majority of them were Parker. Um, and I, it was weird. I sat down at a table, I spread things out, uh, we had bag lots and uh, you know, and we sold a, a fair amount, quite a, quite a nice amount of pens. Awesome. Um, it was weird being behind the table because I couldn't just get up and I wanted to get up and look around and there's always deals to be had. I mean, I know I was, I won't say I was giving out, giving away stuff, but You're I mean. wheeling and dealing. We're wheeling and dealing and I know there's always deals on Thursday, uh, but I didn't, I, I didn't take part in any of that. So um, that was Thursday, Friday. Uh, and, and interestingly enough, this year, the first year I think I've ever seen tables laid out and ready to go for assigned to table holders on Friday. So when I walk in, Every table had a had a, a piece of paper on it with the, the table holder's name. On um, Friday. On on Thursday. Oh, okay. On Thursday, so that it kind of freaked me out a little bit because that's not normally how it is. I mean, they didn't. They even had tablecloths on. They don't normally have, you know. Right. And so 
Uh, that was Thursday. Friday, I, uh, since I didn't have a table, I did some buying. Uh, Saturday, kind of the same. Saturday kept getting busier and busier uh, over the week, but um, I did buy a couple pens. Did you? Um, one was sort of by accident. Um, uh, if you know, you know. Uh, this is an Estherbrook uh, pastel clipless. Um, these are very, very, very hard to find. Um, I have found three in okay. in, in yeah. what thirty years now, um, but not it's not a it's not a pastel that has a clip removed. It's actually the the full tassie just like it is on the on the barrel end. Um, so very very scarce. So I, I managed to grab one of those. You know that one case that you keep threatening to bury me in. I know it very well. There's a we have a lovely. Uh, if you've ever been to the store, we have a very lovely uh, six foot Parker case from the. Uh, probably the 1940s. Okay. Um, and originally, they had very special trays made for them that lock into a slot so that the tray doesn't, and, and, and the tray trays kind of rotate back. They right. tip back. Uh, so if you don't have the original trays, number one, it's almost a useless case. Um, but we, we had our carpenter make trays for us a long time ago. I asked him to put a little tab on the back, which didn't happen. Yeah. So... For the last, I don't know how many years, every time you open, <laughs> every time you open the case, the the trays start to slide, and so you kind of have to grab them before they fall. And occasionally, one falls, and then we have to or the or a pen a will pen slide falls, out, and then and it, then it's a disaster because you can't really read the way it's designed. You have to kind of get in there with a, a yardstick. So anyway, friendly. I've been on the on the on the hunt for these trays. Ever since we got the ever case. since we got the case, and and here's here's the tab on the back, yep, and that fits in the slot, and then it doesn't move, um, and so they made two different kinds of trays in two different colors. So they made a yellow, which is kind of this, not a mustard yellow kind of color, uh, and then they made kind of a pink, um, and they made um, a flat tray like this. You could put a, a box set on it, or they made trays with with uh, liners in it, so you could put the pens in, uh, and and these we just put a, a our own tray liner. our own tray liner in, and then we can put it in, but. Um, so I managed to pick up three, not one, not two, but three of these trays, all in uh, this mustard yellow uh, that fit our case. So we are getting very close, actually, to finishing finishing the case. Now, it does have these small, very small trays in the middle, which are nearly impossible to find. Uh, we found one, and we need two more. Because the other two Parker cases, have we have the trays for those? Well, so one, one we have, one is a later case. Looking from uh, probably from the 70s and they, they switched to a plastic. Mm -hmm. um, and we have all the trays for that one. The other other case, which is maybe maybe 60s era, uh, when we got it, had all of the trays in it, um, if I'm not mistaken, all of the metal trays. And so we've been slowly moving those over to the other case, but this case is bigger. Yes. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, so. Anyway, I got three of those cases. I was, uh, for the price Super of, For the price of what you normally would expect to pay for one. Um, and, and sometimes, and this is just a, an example of, I'm walking around the show with two of these and someone sees it and says, hey, do you want another one? Yes. I've got one at home and I say, absolutely. So just because I was walking around with it, yep. uh, they saw it and, uh, and, and I got a third one. That's awesome. Uh, last but not least, what did I buy? Um, so the Esther book was for myself. Um, I really wasn't there on a buying mission because we, we bought so many pens the last couple of shows that I just... Um, and you've got your hands full with our several consignment we've got, lots yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And that's, and that's really what I was selling at the show was all the consignment stuff. So I managed to stumble across. And, and I, I like these more and more the, the, the older I get, I guess. But I, I bought a ton of beautiful jotters. I love these colors. I mean, look at these. Every this one, I don't know why this like a sage green. Is That's pretty. It's very so, soft and soothing. So nice. Uh, there's brown. These will all you know, be up the on the website. The neon green, the bright pink, bright the blue. orange, the yellow. I like. I like the happy colors. The light pink. Yeah. So like a whole here's a, here's bouquet. A neat, this is what do you call, what would you call that? Color? Like an aqua. Is that an aqua? Yeah. That's a, a pale, cool color. Pale turquoise. You got a cap actuated 45. That's cool. nice. I love those. So I bought a bunch of jotters uh, and a couple other small things. Uh, and last but not least, one which I will probably never live down. Um, I bought this. I couldn't pass this up. Uh, so this is available. Um, the jotters will be up on the website soon enough. But this is a limited edition Paniter Honeycomb Black. 
So this was 888 pieces of this. Um, and this looks to be like a 3D printed barrel with a honeycomb pattern on it. But it has a 14 karat gold, uh, what they call the quill flexible nib. And it's got those cutouts on the side. And it's a magnetic cap. And it, it, it will write itself, which is pretty super cool. So it goes one way. And then it also is magnetic oh, on the back end. Funky. Um, so cartridge converter. Okay, rose gold. Rose gold, yep, yep. Um, it looks like it was um, it was dipped. Like okay. a little bit of ink in the in the converter only from, from cleaning it out yesterday. What's but, nib? Uh, it's a medium, it's the medium flex, medium okay. quill. Um, so this will be up available on the website. If you're interested, you can call uh, in advance and uh, and we'll let you know uh, more about it. Otherwise, it will be on the website probably within within the week or so. Uh, but limited edition Paniter, uh, that beautiful, that, that clip is really, I, I love this clip. It's gorgeous. You can't have it. I, I, no, I don't know. I have other things I want. But, ah. not, but not that. So, right. so Paniter, uh, Honeycomb Black, limited edition is available. Give us a call if you're interested. Otherwise, it'll be up on the website in, shortly. Okay. What about so, that? Uh, that doesn't count. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, also coming up, we are going to Florida. In fact, by the time that this airs, we will be uh, in Florida mm. getting ready to eat lunch and then drive across the state. Uh, my baby brother is getting married. And so we are going for that. That's about time. He had to find the right person. <laughs> and it took a long does, time. Does, does Jeff watch the show? No, but I'm no. going to make him watch Oh, you can make him watch the show. Yes. Right. In fact, my mother, um, God, love, God love my mother. Um, my mother had a piece of fabric that she has been saving since the year that my brother was born that my grandparents brought back from Japan. It's this beautiful, fancy It's nice. Pattern. It's like tur a, tur a turquoise teal yeah, kind yeah. of thing. We saw, we saw it last, last time we were there. I have loved this thing forever. Oh, she never shuts up about it. Always because, talking about it. And my mom always said, I'm saving the fabric for when your brother gets married. I'm gonna make a dress when your brother gets married. And my brother is about to turn 50, you better get this right if you're going to tell him to watch. He was born in 69. All right, there we go. Right. So, um, so my mom has waited all this, all this time. I have waited for her to make something out of this stupid fabric for all these years. It's kind of a family joke now. And so um, she's excited that she made a dress out of the fabric. But we're going for my brother's wedding. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to say for the sister of the groom toast. Oh, you have to give a toast? I don't have to. I'm choosing oh, well, to. Whether choosing he wants to. me to or oh, not. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I gonna, promised it would is, be good. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I promised it would not be, I wouldn't bring up anything, you, it would not be embarrassing. I don't remember the last wedding I, I was at. It very well ours? could have been ours. Okay. <laughs> which, uh, which leads us into the next. Anyway, um, next so we exciting. are going to Florida. We're going to be on both sides, both Coast. Coast, yep. uh, we are going to Bush Gardens on Friday. We also are going to make a quick stop on the way back from Bush Gardens to the um, hotel. We're going to drive past my old house in Tampa. Oh, okay. Just so I can say I take a picture okay. for the kids, um, and so that'll be that'll be fun. And do you know that Jeff and Ruthie's wedding is in between their two birthdays? Oh, ex so. equidistant. I don't know. Oh, okay. But. Uh, and so speaking of weddings and all that, thank you very much for our anniversary oh wishes. Lots and lots and lots. It thank was you. was not three minutes at the show before somebody said, hey, I saw a happy anniversary. Three well, minutes later, hey, happy. So. Whenever we go to the Chicago show, people still come up to us and say, I was at your wedding. I was at your wedding, yeah, which yeah. was cool because we got married at twenty in 2010 at the Chicago Penn Show. Um, but thank you all for all the anniversary wishes. 14 years. Still going. I looked good back in back in the day. You still look good. <laughs> We're both a little older. My little, and... my little green bow tie. Oh God, mm. yeah. We so. had to learn to bow, tie a bow tie. That was a little frantic drama. I, I, can't, I tried doing it not too long ago. It's like I, a shoelace. It is exactly like a shoelace, and nobody ever says that. They say, "Oh, <laughs> do it on your knee." And then when I figured that out, I was like, you yeah. know, but you just have to do it this way, not the other way. So, yeah. so anyway. Um, so. It won't be much of a vacation for us, but uh, we are going to be right on the beach, so we will try and take be a good. little time It'll for ourselves. Good. We'll get we'll get some time in there. What else is new? Uh, exciting? New and Lindsay and I talked about this last week. Pilot Custom Eight Twenty Three Clear with signature nibs. Um, so clear. Clear. 
with different nib options. Yes. And also signature. Yeah. a new signature nib, um, which will be available on the clear and the smoke and the amber. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So fine, medium, broad, signature mm -hmm. on the 823. Yes. But clear is coming. And, and, and that's that, exciting. People have wanted this in the U.S. for at least five years we've been talking about this uh, and finally it is made available so it is coming Ooh. is available after may 15th which uh, will be next week i believe yes so uh, keep an eye out for that sign up for back in stock notification and um and you can be the first to have this new sign which, signature nib which i believe they kind of in it's it's hard to get exactly what it is but they give the impression that it's kind of a flex slightly flexible stub okay so We'll, we'll, we'll see what that looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm eager to see that. Cool. But I think it's going to be great. Uh, also in the news, um, the Sailor 50 State Inks has a new lower price. Um, Atoya, the distributor, and Sailor have done a little um, reconfiguring of where they're putting these 50 State Inks in the lineup. And so uh, instead of uh, $25, they are now going to be $20. So if you were waiting... Now's the time to get some while they are... Same bottle. Same uh, bottle, nothing's changed. Just the price actually dropped, which they... Doesn't happen very often. Retail uh, yeah. Distributors rarely do. Yeah, so... so that's pretty there cool. 42 co colors so far? 44? So. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So. Where do hamburgers go dancing? The meatball. Uh, just in are the new uh, Sailor Mono 5th Anniversary uh, Collection inks. These are limited edition. So when they run out, they run out. Um, in the normal uh, cube. 50 milliliter cube bottle, which is my favorite. Um, people are calling in already. In five colors. Yes. Five colors. So we've got you which is uh, a sunset. Kind of a dark red orange. Red orange. You've got... Uh, Suyu, which is dew. Kind of a dark which blue. Which is a dark blue, which looks great. Uh, Ishii is um, pebble, which is a green color. Uh, we've got Asagiri, which is morning fog. This is a pretty pink. And then Himayuri which is uh, Star Lily, which is um, a really, really pretty orange. Um, if you watch the podcast, you know I love orange inks. So in that same square bottle, nice and sturdy. I can't tip it over, which makes it a beautiful thing. And these are uh, inspired by themes of unrequited love as depicted in selected poems. Other news. In other news, we have... Um, so a while back, we, we, we decided... The Esterbrook SDs come with the option for special nibs. Um, more often than not, they seem to be not available, or they're very, very lengthy, lengthy lead times on them. Um, so we, we pulled all those off the website because it was just it was frustrating for for us, for the customer. It was um, frustrating for the customer, even though you, you know we had in our listing that there was a long wait time. But for us, to to give you a little information behind the scenes we had a table that we literally called the table of anxiety <laughs> seriously because it had all the orders that were waiting for either a body that uh Estabrook just couldn't, couldn't make produce yeah. or nibs that we that that we were waiting for them to ship and they were waiting for the nib people to get to and so it was just too stressful and we don't want to make you as a customer unhappy um, uh, and so there, there were essentially there are what there are four nibs. Um, uh, there is the needlepoint, the scribe, uh, it, the techo, and the journaler. Now, by far the most popular nib is the journaler. Yes. Like, out, out of all the specialty nibs, and, and techo is just not available. Right. It's never going to be available. Um, and, and scribe and needlepoint just not that popular. Ninety-five percent of all specialty nib sales are journaler nibs. Right. We have a journaler nib in stock. Yes. Um, it is. You can't buy it on the website. You have to call. And call it has in. to go in a pen. Yeah. So you can't. Yeah. It has to go in a pen. So um, any any pen that we have in stock, we can we can put it in. Uh, just give us a call, 
and uh, and Dave or I will uh, will will take care of that for you. But um, I think that's kind of how we're going to do it from now on. If we, we're going to maybe order some, and, and if we ever get them, we get them, then right. we will make them available either to in-store customers or, or online right. customers through this. So if, you, if you're looking for that journal or nib, uh, we have one. And and, it, and this is not a knock on the nib people. No, you know this no. is. Their, their custom grind is in addition to their normal nib work. Uh, a couple of the nib people actually have full-time jobs, and so this is not in any way no. a knock on them. This is a, I wouldn't call it a side hustle, but an extra <laughs> thing that they do. Yeah. And so it's simply supply and demand, and we just decided we were going to take a step back because the demand was too high for the supply. Yeah. Yeah. and. Nobody likes to disappoint customers and look at our table of anxiety. And nobody wants to wait. No, no. I mean, I place an order and I go to the door and wait for the mailman. Yep. And I'm assuming most of the rest of you do too. So we do have a journal or nib. We can put it in any in-stock pen. Yep. So if Just you have been call. waiting, we got you covered. So Awesome. Next cool. up, Just In. Just In. Um, so this is, there are a number of things that we've been playing with behind the scenes for a long time. Um, listening to customer feedback. We have a couple uh, in-store customers who are uh, not shy about giving us feedback or suggestions. And so one of the things that we've come up with is um, our own ink swab cards. And these that. are uh, a pack of 50 in uh, a smaller size. Uh, these are similar to the Mariamon word cards that were very popular a couple years ago. Uh, there also is so um, three and a half by 2.2 inches. The coloring that we used to carry that is bigger. Um, and so we played around for a long time. We found these and uh, went with this option. So it comes with 50 sheets of 260 uh, GSM cardstock. It's stock. thick. It's thick. It's nice and thick. I mean, it's so you, you look at this here. So I, I first started, I said, well, you know, well, let's test these out. We have out. to play with them. And I took every, like every sample and every bottle, open bottle we had in the back, and I took a Q-tip and a dip pen. And when I dipped the dip pen, I accidentally dropped like four or five drops of Aurora Blue on the page. And you can see, you can see how the it pooled. Sheen. And it took forever to dry because, I mean, it was literally like, you know, three, four, five drops puddle. of ink. It was a puddle of ink. But you can see the sheen and then absolutely, absolutely nothing on the back. I mean, I was, I thought for These sure. These are heavy duty. I thought for sure there would be something. So you can use both sides. I mean, yes. you can see that there's something there, but. There is no, it's, it's, no, no bleed through No bleed through. At all. I mean, look at that. In fact, somewhere I think we even have a Sharpie that we used. Did we do a Sharpie on We there? did, because that. Sharpie is always um, kind of the ultimate test. It'd be in the back. Yeah. But it shows Sheen, it shows uh, the Euromako came out real nice. So, here, um, is that a sharpie? I, this is a not? sharpie. Okay. Now there is ink on the back side of this because the next card wasn't dry. Wasn't dry. You, you but there the, is no, no bleed, bleed through. through from the sharpie. It's um, nice. It's a nice, and it's yeah. and it's a little bit, you know, like I say, it's a little bit smaller size, but the cards are thicker. The cards are I mean, definitely thick. They, they could fit in your pocket if you're going to a pen show or yep. something you want to look for. And these will be great for you to keep track of the inks that you do have yeah. without being super bulky. Yeah, um, I would say use both sides. I mean, yeah. you can, absolutely. The thing to note is these are not bright white. This is a creamy color. In fact, if you want to hold up some of the copy paper, this is not bright white. I don't know if you can tell. Um, we opted to go for this. It, I don't think it makes much of a difference. It still shows the color, it still shows the sheen, the shimmer, whatever you yeah. have. It's just not quite as glaring on the eyes. Yeah, yeah. Um, too heavy, dirty, heavy duty. Can't talk today. Sturdy craft cards. Um, a binder ring. Now you could, of course, get yourself a bigger binder ring and you could put more together. This holds 50 mm -hmm. sheets, um, but these are great. We've been using these for a while. Um, and yeah, uh, this is, this is I've been playing with a couple, uh, with one of these at home and swatching some of my own samples that I keep bringing home from the store and deciding, do I want to try this or not? So yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely nice. I mean, you, you can get a hundred different colors on there. So yeah, you know, everybody who comes in and says, "Oh, I can't remember my what I have," there and it is. it's five dollars. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's just really, really cheap. a great yeah. value. So uh, that is new. Yes.
What type of clothes does a house wear? A dress. We are going to talk about some light charm soft cover notebooks. Um, if you've been into fountain pens for a while, you know how great light charm notebooks are. And so I think personally, I think that the soft covers don't get as much love. They come in uh, pretty much all the same colors I like this one. This as the hard is cover. Awesome color. They come in dot, lined, blank, grid. What do we got here? Um, blank. Oops, whoa. Ah. I broke that one, it's mine. Discount. Uh, these are, let's see, they have the pocket in the back. Yeah. They have the pagination on the sheets. Yeah, just uh, like every a, light term. But um, it's, but it's sticker labels. Bendable. And how many pages? 123, 123 number of pages. And it's uh, 80 GSM. Right there. Oh, <laughs> also on the back. That's awesome. I'm making I'm, sure that the script is correct. Sure the That's what correct. I'm doing. Yeah, no, these so. are nice. And, you know, and, and they're, they're a little bit thinner, too, than, than the real. So it's less of a commitment if yeah. you're like me and you have a journal commitment problem. Um, I love oh. the sage green. Yeah, and Electrum Stone does a nice, nice job with the colors. Beautiful colors. Always, a, always a, an option available for you, I yep. think. We had a contest. We did. Um, first thing, I'm going to chime in on the contest from a question from a couple weeks ago. From a couple weeks ago or last week? La whenever you talked about food. Uh, last week. Yeah. Okay. And, and Lindsay likes macaroni and cheese in, in, in hot dogs. hot dogs. Yeah, it's not quite as glamorous as I thought it was no, going to be. You I, know. I was hoping for some casserole that you spent hours and blood, sweat, and tears making or something. But One no. of my favorite memories is my best friend Jackie and I would... Um, uh, Jackie would come over, she would make cheesecake, and we would make a big giant turkey and do, because um, Jack was in college with me, and uh, she was younger and didn't go home for Thanksgiving, so we'd have her over for Thanksgiving. And we'd make that big turkey, um, whole big dinner for the kids, and, and it was a, a fond memory. But my other favorite food is actually not something my mother made, but my grandmother, um, my step-grandmother. Did it have the word cheesy in it? No. <laughs> Grandma Gould made the best blackberry cobbler. Oh, yeah. It was orgasmic. It was so amazing. I said it. It was okay. just amazing. Okay. So anyway, there's that. Uh, we had a contest last week, and we wanted to know if your pen usage suffers in the spring and summer because you're out and about doing other things. I don't get out, so. <laughs> Unless I go to a pen show, and then in case, it does not suffer. Okay. So. Beth Cunningham says, great video, and I enjoyed hearing people reminisce about their favorite foods their mothers made. Uh, my pen writing suffers during busy work times, uh, for example, just before a board meeting or during business travel when my days are busy from the moment I get up to the time I go to bed. Otherwise, my writing is not impacted by the seasons. Belated happy anniversaries to anniversary to the Andersons. Thanks, Thank Beth. You, Beth. Uh, James Mad Chemical says, Pantone color of the year is peach fuzz. Yeah, oh, because yeah. you weren't sure. I, I, wasn't, I, I knew it wasn't brown. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's worth mentioning that in some color theories, brown equals a shade, blackening of orange. So I'm with Lindsay. My winters are as busy as summers, if not more so, but I tend to do more unique things in warmer months, which serves as more inspiration for journal entries. So, okay. Awesome. Yeah, so brown is a shade of orange. I can uh, okay. see that. Okay. Lisa Wilson says, I would say my pen usage increases with the seasonality of pen show attendance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I use my pens every day to journal and even take them on vacation with me. But they're snorted a new purchase. Snorted? Uh, that's what it says. It's probably started. A new purchase of either a pen and or a new ink, which must immediately be tried. Oh, that's the best autocorrect ever, if that's yeah. what it is. Snorted. All right. Lucas Bell, I think I use my pens maybe more in summer and spring since I like to go have a beer outside at a local brewery while joining. Please journaling. come, co journaling, yes. Please come and visit us. I, I'll have a beer outside for it with you. Yeah, well, Wisconsin's we go, we go, good we go for We go to beer. that one, down t one downtown that day. Yes, yes, yes. I like to go there. Rich Johnson says, great episode. My pen usage is about the same. However, I do want a pen I can take with me on a bike ride and journal while I'm out riding. You journal while you ride? Come on, Eric, which one should I get? Have a great week, all. Yeah, I, I hope he doesn't mean actually while he's riding. Unless it's a tandem and he's in the back. Oh, okay. Yes. You gonna try that this year? 
if the tandem is safe. I'll, I'll get the tandem safe. I'll get it fixed. Right. I'll get it fixed. We had a winner, uh, Ed Riley. Congratulations. Uh, Ed says, except for my three-year journal, my journaling does suffer when the weather gets warmer, but I tend to make up for some of it by regularly updating my overly ambitious project lists. Nice. Absolutely. We are familiar with that. Uh, congratulations, Ed. Send an email to eric at andersonpens.com. He'll take care of getting that $20 credit on your AP account. We have a new one. We do. Um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, all coming up. Do you write mm. thank you notes? Um, or do you insist or did you insist that your children write thank you notes? Um, I personally did make my children yeah. write thank you notes, partly because it's the right thing to do and partly because my mother would nag me if she didn't get a thank you oh, note yeah, from yeah. the kids, which is the proper thing to do. I think there should be an expression of gratitude when someone gives you something. Yeah, I think it, yeah, my parents both made me write thank you notes, but there is there's like... Only in certain cases. So if they're there, obviously you thank them in person. Right. But if it's a gift that somebody sent to you or right. if it was a special, uh, you know, like a graduation or, or a birthday that they weren't there and they sent you something, then you send them uh, yes. a, a thank you. Thank you. No, but yes. Yeah. And with my kids when they were little, you know, I'd have like three or four things you could say, you know, dear grandma and grandpa, thank you for this. I'm going to use the money gonna for... I'm going to use it for yeah, X, X, so right, it was right. kind of a template, yeah, and, yeah. Oh, and it I made had, it easier. I had the same one, yeah. Yeah, it still it still was like, okay, I could be playing with my whatever, but i got to write these notes. And, yeah. you know, it was like yeah. the morning after Christmas. They had like two days, and then, you, you know, by a certain it. day, you have to have it so I can get it in the right. mail. Um, and I would just tell them that, especially older generations put a lot more into that, and this was long before internet, um, and, you know, if you want another Christmas present next year, you have to say thank you for this year's. And so <laughs> Is that, that how it works? That kind of was enough what if I just What little. if I just send cards out? I don't know. But nothing in it? With nothing. Well, no, just send cards out. Thank you. No. Does, does send me, people send me stuff? No. Know. Anyway. Um, so anyway. Uh, do you write thank you notes? Do you write thank notes? Do you, did you make your kids write thank you notes? Beautiful. There you go. What else you got? I think that I got, is... I got a blank sheet here. <laughs> well, because we already talked about the coming soon. Well, did we come... What's coming soon? The custom A23. Oh, A23 is coming. Yeah. That's yeah. Forgot, and that's it. Forgot already. Um, so. We're just getting ready for Florida. Uh, we will have a little time to ourselves, so we are going to try and do uh, an antique store or two. That would be nice. That would be nice. So we haven't been on that coast, and I haven't been antiquing on that coast since... 1999, I think. Honest to goodness. No, you were on that coast back in... On the West Coast. 2008, you and I went to St. Pete when you came down yeah, in we December. Didn't, we, didn't, we didn't go to... We didn't get antique, though. Yeah, we did. did we? Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. In fact, there was one antique store where yes, they couldn't yes, find the keys yes, to a case that had yes, a pen we wanted. That's right, and I had that's to make... Right. Two separate That's trips right. back to discover. It yes, yeah, see, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking more uh, back when I when I lived there. I was further. I was two hours south. We're of not you, going so that kind far of, south. Yeah, I know. But, I know, but um, I, I guess I wasn't. We had a couple good memories. We did. Yes, yes. Whether or not we yeah. were serious collectors. Serious collectors of a buying a waterman case. But so anyway. maybe we'll sneak over early Thursday so we can do some antiquing and nobody will know we're there. That'll be all right. That's all right. Okay. So we've all got right. a plan. Anyway. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. <laughs> like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.